Hi there, Richard Tubb here in the Tubservatory, keeping my eye out for top resources to help you to grow your MSP business. So without further ado, here are my five a week from the MSP space. Unlock the power of Kubernetes, leadership insights, and a cameo from me and my Not an MSP show friends are all part of the latest MSP update from James Steele of Linode. As Steele is killing it with these videos, which are informative and amusing. So they are a must watch for MSPs. And talking of friends, a podcast that caught my ear is the No Filter MSP show from Super Ops with my Not an MSP co-host, Andrew Moon. Moon, aka the Orange Nomad, shares advice on the life work integration and managing the balancing act, plus tips on using LinkedIn for MSP sales. Now, did you know that almost a third of IT decision makers rely on gut feel when choosing a network operator, reports Joe O'Halloran of Computer Weekly magazine. Among the top line findings was that business leaders ranked trustworthiness, professionalism and experience as the top reasons for selecting a network operator. Now, this article is worth reading and bearing in mind when MSPs sell network solutions to businesses. What are the top security risks facing MSPs in 2023? Well, that's the topic that Acronis explores in this powerful article for Channel E2E magazine. The human factor is high on the list of threats, with failing to follow security procedures and reusing passwords, suggests Acronis. If you want to be serious about cybersecurity in 2023, then I'd encourage you to read this article. And finally, Utrecht in the Netherlands is the location and 15th of February 2023 is the date for the next Comtia Benelux meter. Chris Fabes of Lenovo will be delivering a keynote presentation with MSPs from all over Europe expected to join in this collaborative day. Now, how many software as a service or SaaS applications do you think that your MSP clients use? Given that end users can simply sign up for SaaS applications by using their credit card, these apps are now known as shadow IT, and many MSPs are struggling to manage this aspect of their client's business. A tool to help with the shadow IT that I'm hearing great things about is Augment. Augment helps MSPs to discover, manage, and more importantly, secure these SaaS tools. Founded by former Enable Technology Industry veterans Gavin Garber and Derek Belair, Augment is a tool to keep your eye on. A book I'm highly recommended to MSPs is Go Give Us Sell More by the wonderful authors Bob Berg and John David Mann. If you find sales a struggle, as many MSPs do, then this book may change your perspective on persuading people to buy from you to simply providing value to others. Now, talking of selling, you only get one chance to make a good first impression. So I'd recommend any MSP read this short article from Zementum on six ways to make a better first impression with potential clients. The article is a quick but powerful read. Dev Kundalia of Computing Magazine reports that LastPass is telling customers that hackers stole encrypted password vaults. And knowing that many MSPs recommend LastPass to their clients, will you start looking for a replacement password management tool or will you stick with LastPass? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And finally, CompTIA gave me a voice when I didn't believe I had one. So says Hannah Lloyd in this wonderful video about CompTIA. Lloyd, Vice President of Channel Sales at InSoc, talks about ADHD and being a woman in a male-dominated industry. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing your story. Now, a video that caught my eye was the Global MSP Partner Panel on M365 Security. Organized by Microsoft 365 Security Management Platform Skykick, this on-demand session gives MSPs a global perspective from four leading MSP partners on how they secure Microsoft 365, monetize it, and bring peace of mind to their clients to drive acquisition and retention. And talking of security, the team at CompTIA went out to the MSP industry to ask business owners and experts about their cybersecurity predictions for 2023. Scott Campbell of CompTIA highlights that a failure to manage 
customer expectations will spur litigation. A sobering warning that MSPs need to be proactive in securing their clients' networks. Now, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but UK businesses are being urged to move away from ISDN in 2023. Yes, ISDN. Research shared by Joe O'Hallahan at Computer Weekly magazine warns that as the analog switch off approaches, only 15% of small and medium sized enterprises and 20% of large businesses have plans in place to migrate to an alternative technology solution. MSPs limit your work in progress. That's the advice from managed services expert Todd Kane in his latest video to help limit the overwhelm by limiting your work in progress or WIP. And finally, March the 8th to 9th in London sees the Tech Show London in England's capital. The theme of this year's show is Connect, Inspire and Transform and you won't want to miss one of the most exciting technology events of the year where thousands of business leaders and influencers will be in attendance. Now, AI or artificial intelligence is a topic being discussed by many MSPs right now. So a session that really caught my attention is the great chat GPT debate. This session is hosted by Barracuda and gives a quick overview of what chat GPT is, how hackers might leverage this new technology, how to ensure your clients are protected from any potential risks associated with their AI technologies, and how technologies like ChatGPT can automate managed service business practices. One of my top tips for MSPs is to focus on your core competencies and to buddy up with other technology companies to provide complementary services. Pax8 Pro Services allows MSPs to add extra bandwidth and expertise to your team so you can focus on growing your business. Some of the solutions Pax8 Pro Services will offer MSPs include cloud architecture and enablement, migration services, security strategy and enablement, and even custom projects. Now, when it comes to standard operating procedures or SOPs, done is better than perfect. So says MSP expert Carl Palacher in his latest video. Many MSPs struggle with creating SOPs, processes and documentation. So this video is a valuable reminder that getting started is half of the victory. Sadly, redundancies are an expected part of modern IT business. However, these layoffs do give opportunities for managed service providers to find new talent Talent. Outsourcing experts Uptime Solutions have created an excellent article on what to do if you have been made redundant, with advice for IT professionals who have lost their job. And finally, congratulations to the Acronis Cyber Foundation program. And over the past five years, the program has been able to achieve a remarkable results by building 23 schools in 22 different countries around the world, benefiting more than 5,500 children. Children.